Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the emergency stove from Esbit. Alright, thanks for joining me today. Now, um, before I begin the stove thing, quick little note. This weekend is my birthday. I'm going to be probably out with friends, family, whatever, having fun. So if you don't see a video from me till Monday or Sunday, now you know why. Anyway, I want to do a quick review on this little stove here because this is part of um, the project that I'm doing for um, my little get home roll up bag. Um, something you'd store at an office or at a job somewhere or maybe in your vehicle. And it's got just enough supplies to get you back home. It's not a bug out bag. It's not anything huge. So something like this comes in handy. Um, in that bag, we're not going to be doing, you know, I'm not packing freeze-dried meals in there or all sorts of other stuff. Um, I might stop to purify water with this. I might stop to make myself a cup of coffee if I start getting tired. But that's about its only job it's going to be, especially in a get-home kit, you know. And um, if I worked, say, 100 miles away from home, I'd take a full-on bug-out bag and not a get-home kit. This is something I can carry easily. Um, you know, the roll-up kit that I showed you in a couple pre videos previous. It's something you can carry easily. It's small. That's what this is for. That's going to be for the little get-home roll-up kit that I'm building. So, I thought about what I had as far as, like, little alcohol stoves, and everything came back to needing some kind of fuel. Now, this does use fuel, but this can also burn sticks. If I want to just take this stove and I run out of my fuel cubes, I can throw some sticks or some twigs in there and start a fire. So anyway, that's the explanation of the stove. I'm going to give you a quick look at what it actually is. Let me get that out of the way. And it's basically a flat piece of metal. Those of you that uh, have seen some reviews of the foreign uh, MREs, sometimes they'll come with a stove like this inside with some tablets. Now, for the purpose of this video today, we're going to be using the Esbit cubes. I might use a different type of cube, depending on what I pack in my bag. But they advertise about 12 minutes runtime. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it out of the bag, and we're going to bend it into a stove shape, and I'll show you how it works. All right, so um, now, again, if you're going to be using this, say, camping, I wouldn't recommend using it camping, because you've got to bend it and unbend it and bend it and unbend it so many times. Eventually, that's going to get weak and break. But uh, for something like what I'm doing, where... I might be using it once just to bug home, you know, and I might end up throwing it out, buying a new one, whatever. Perfect, perfect thing. And it's nice and flat, so it's not heavy at all, or, I mean, I would guess it weighs like maybe an ounce or two. Not really heavy. So this is how you bend it up. You're going to bend this side up. You're going to bend that side up. And then you're going to bend the sides in. So you're starting to see it taking shape as a little stove. There we go. And there's your little stove. And again, if you want it flat, you can unbend it. I'm just saying if you're going to be using this a lot, um, that bending and unbending is going to weaken the metal, and eventually it's going to be pretty useless. But for one time for the demonstration of this video and then putting it in that bag, in that kit, that's no problem. So we're going to get one of these out, and we're going to light it up, and we're going to try and see, uh, see how it boils some water. i got a, one cup of water over here. And yeah, it's an Esbit tablet. I'm not doing two cups. I'm not feeling that adventurous today. One cup will do just fine. I'll make myself some coffee with it. Anyway, give me a second to set it up, and I'll be right back. All right, we got the Esbit tablet in there. If you notice, it's got like four little quadrants in it. I assume that's so you can break it into smaller pieces if you didn't need as much of a, uh, a fire. But I'm going to start this one up. Let's see how that goes. And these are brand new. There you go. That side's on fire now. Let me get the other side too, just in case it doesn't get over there. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to start it up, and I'm going to let it burn fully across. And then we're going to put the pot on once it gets going. And I'm going to time it and see how long it takes to boil a pot of water. Now, for informational purposes, in this little kit, I'm not going to be carrying cookware. I'm using this today for, for, the, for the review. But I'll probably be carrying this, which is my old trusty water bottle, which if I wanted, could probably sit right on there and boil water. And this would be my only source of, you know, cooking utensil, so to speak, as well as drinking. So that is probably what I'd be using in, in, the, uh, 
in the kit, because I almost always have a water bottle with me of some kind. Now it's stainless steel because it makes it easy to cook with. I'm going to start up the timer once I put this on. And I will bring you back throughout, or once it's boiling, and uh, we'll see how long it takes. All right, whoops, we are about two minutes, 42 seconds in. Starting to get some steam off the top there. Just a little bit, starting to see a little bubbling on the bottom. And I will bring you back when there's more progress. All right, we're getting close, four minutes, 36 seconds. And as you can tell there, we're starting to get bubbles coming up from the bottom a little bit. Lots of steam. We're almost there. All right, for my uses, for coffee, that's pretty darn good. And we're at about five minutes and, let's say, 30 seconds. As you can tell, it's really starting to go now, so I'm going to stop the, <clears throat> stop the clock there. And uh, back things up a bit. And we'll make some coffee with it. And I'll finish up. Now, I am going to leave it burning. I mean, leave the timer running because it's burning and I want to see how long I get. But in the meantime, I'm going to pour some instant coffee in here. And dump in my water. And there we go. Stir it up with my titanium spoon. By the way, I got this from uh, Foreign MRE. And uh, Foreign MRE is on YouTube. You can check out his page. But he also has uh, ForeignMRE.com, which has every Foreign MRE you can imagine. Um, I noticed we're getting pretty low on the uh, on the Esbit tablet. It's about 8 minutes and 11 seconds. So, I got a feeling that's going to be done soon. And by the way, I wouldn't normally drink this out of a hot of a stainless steel mug. It's kind of kind of hot, but I'll let it cool off a little bit. So uh, I'll let you know the final time on the burn of the Esbit tablet. All right, 10 minutes, 37, 38 seconds. That's pretty much out. I don't think, I can't see it doing, uh, doing any kind of heating. It's warm, but it's not, you know, not really hot. So you get about 10 minutes. It definitely boiled a cup of water. I'm pleased with that. So anyway, this is the Esbit emergency stove kit comes with three of these, which we used one, and this little fold-up stove. When you're done, you can fold it back in, stick it into your gear, and it's actually a pretty handy item. Anyway, that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out our Amazon store down below, and I put this in the Amazon store, and I'll put a link to it. Um, we have lots of other stuff in the store, too, but if you don't see anything you like, just click the link and shop as you normally would. Helps bring us a little bit of money to the channel to bring you cool gear like this, and don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link down below. Um, we have all freeze-dried stuff you could possibly want. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.